thanks to many of you coming through your television screen here. Well, thanks, R.D. I already feel at home here, and I hope I didn't humiliate you with a leisure suit not crack. At all. Not at all. I, never have, I did have some of those wide ties. Did you really? All right, we'll find out about that later. But I'm going to be covering all aspects of New England lifestyles, how we live, work, and play. And tonight, we play as we look at America's obsession with nostalgia. We're not sure why, but New Englanders are once again swinging to the 70s. It was the disco decade, thanks to John Travolta's feverish moves on the dance floor. Polyester was the blend of choice, along with hot pants, hot hair, and sitcoms featuring ever-perky families like the Bradys. That bunch, along with 70s trash glamour, is back. You'll see a lot of new looks this year that are really old looks. You're going to see the short, short look on girls, which you're seeing everywhere, the return of platform shoes, pants that have bell bottoms, and of course, a lot of people wearing stars and stripes and they were wearing it back in the 70s. Even black light posters are enjoying a revival. Like it or not, we're experiencing a 70s flashback. It's when I grew up. It's my memories, my childhood, my basis. So you can't, you can't leave that behind. I don't want to grow up and have my kids think, you know, Mom, Dad, sing about staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> Responsible adults wearing bell bottoms and platform shoes reliving their past. DJ Barry Scott, who hosts the Lost 45s program on WZLX, found that 70s music is in such demand people needed a time and place to dance to it. Yeah, I think it brings people back to the time when the music was definitely fresh and original and happy and made you dance. <laughs> getting over a lot of things from the 60s and people were trying to get back on their feet and have some fun for a change. The light blue eyeshadow, which is, you can't wear that anymore. That's, you know, taboo. Don't do that. And um, the bright pink lipstick. Well, uh, quite honestly, uh, sir, I think a lot of people try and deny the past and I'm getting into it. I uh, enjoy the tunes. I think they're a lot better than today's tunes and I'm just, I'm into it. <laughs> want to impress, just digress. But in the no-nonsense 90s, a dash of 70s silliness may be just what we need. By the way, there is a 70s preservation society nationwide, so some folks are taking that unserious decade very seriously. And R.D. Edie told me that she did the YMCA song. Oh, she yeah. She spell it out and, uh, and had the miniskirt. They hit for the village people. The village people, so. that's right. Do you think times were simpler in the 70s? Oh, definitely. I mean, it was after the 60s and the protests, and people were just having fun. And now with the recession in the 90s, people are looking back to that decade to have a good time. So, there you have it. <laughs> Whatever. So tell us about these ties that were made for you, R.D. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. That'll That's be my follow-up on the 70s. <laughs> there may okay. still be one hanging at the back of the closet someplace. <laughs> okay. And where will remain, by the way. Well, it's <laughs> good to have you there. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Good. Thanks. We'll see you right there. What's the